Well, hi, everybody. Uh, this is Michael Miles in Chicago at the stage at the Old Town School of Folk Music. And I have a few different instruments to share today. And um, this one is, is probably the grandest of them all. This is called a hajouj. It was built in Morocco by a man named Zine Abedin. And it is a, kind of a grand elder of the banjo. It is a drum with strings. This is a, this is a big wooden box here with a leather top and I'll, sh I'll show you the back it's carved wood it's beautiful carved wood all that mother of pearl inlay and there's also um, bits of this is called uh, yellow wood uh, that that gives it a, this golden tone and there's little bits of silver in there as well and beautiful carvings all here in there and this uh, this instrument is uh, the builder's name is Zine Abedin and he lives in a town called Essaouira, Morocco. And in Essaouira, Zine is the premier builder and player of the Hajuj. And the Hajuj, uh, has, this has uh, three strings, and the strings are tuned, here's a, here's a root, here's an octave above it, here's a fourth above the root. And that's how, sometimes people ask about the five-string banjo, why does it have one, uh, uh, one of the, why, is, why does the string only go part way up the neck? Well, before there were tuning mechanisms, the, the way you held strings on was with straps. Look at this. So you want a string of a different pitch, you have a string of a different length. And for example, the one that's an octave above the root, it ends right there. It only goes halfway up. And you can also see uh, this beautiful silver inlay here. This neck's perfectly round. And the strings are made of camel hair. Uh, and and the music that's generally played on this is called Ganawa music. Ganawa, G-N-A-W-A, -A, Ganawa music, which is um, a traditional music of the Berber culture, and it's sacred music. It's um, secular sacred, but sacred nonetheless. And so um, it's only played in, um, in, in certain circumstances and in certain ways. And I feel very honored to have this. This was, this was built and sent uh, to me uh, because I had the opportunity to meet with Zine Abedin in Morocco and he sang and he played for me and he, he let me play his instrument and and he sent this along and and it was he also sent a note that said this bridge this bridge is very special bridge and I'll hold that up a little bit so you can see it because the bridge was carved uh, not by Zine Abedin but by Zine Abedin's father in, in in southern morocco and so so this instrument is uh is truly is truly special and i um i don't uh, and and the thing that that i that was quite exciting for me and and humbling and chilling all at the same time was on the day that we met um i saw i watched zine abedin play and what he played was uh, sometimes his right hand style is like the claw hammer banjo style that I play, and I learned to play. I taught myself to play the banjo here in Chicago, uh, and here I go to Morocco and I'm looking at Zine Abedin play, and sure enough, his right hand looks exactly like my right hand, and I, I'm seeing the ancient uh, past and the present, and it was a chilling moment for me to see that and and then when he gestured for me to play and could see that that uh, I could play was it was uh, peculiar from a completely different point of view cuz here's a guy a, uh, a white guy from Chicago who picks up the ancient hajuj and can make a sound on it that sounds uh, you know nowhere near like what he plays but but uh legitimate nonetheless and 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 so uh, this uh, I I approach this with great um, humility and honor and and I'll play a little bit uh, that sounds like this uh. 